kind of a unique week. Uh, the Browns will have joint practices in Berea with the New York Giants. How important are those? What are you looking for um, out of them? Yeah, I, I think they're really important. And I know Kevin Stefanski thinks they're really important. It meant something to him last year before the preseason was canceled. And, you know, teams had to change their training camp plans. They were going to go up and practice against Green Bay. So he really values them. He thinks I think he thinks they're more important in the preseason because you can dictate what the circumstances are. Okay, we're going to work on two minutes. And in a game, you're not guaranteed a two minutes this week. We can work on a bunch of red zone or third down. And that does, you know, preseason, it's a lot of it's left up to luck. So that's what he likes about it. He likes seeing a different team's scheme on offense and defense as opposed to practicing against yourself the entire training camp. So he's looking forward to those. And I think, you know, because I don't think we're going to see the starters play much at all in the preseason in general. So I, I think these two practices could be, you know, the most important of the preseason, of the whole training camp slash preseason. Yeah, and, and you know, again, just in case people don't remember, three season, three preseason games, two-week gap between that third one and the beginning of the regular season. So um, it, it seems like they're trying to lessen the impact um, on the players' bodies of the preseason as well. Are, are there some position groups that kind of have you intrigued um, with with this where, where Browns and Giants are joint pra jointly practicing? Yeah, you know, I, I think secondary. Um, I want to see Greg Newsom ag against another opponent, Greedy Williams against another opponent besides his teammates and, you know, a little bit of reps against Jacksonville. Um, the D-line, whether it's the backup ends, I mean, we know Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clown, right? But we Tack McKinley's a big question mark because he's not with the team for personal reasons. So then you're looking at guys like Port Augustine and Joe Jackson and Curtis Weaver. And can those guys in uh, Cameron Mar Malveaux, who was with the starters on Saturday, which one of those guys or which couple of those guys can step up and earn a spot and make the Browns comfortable that he can be their third guy if necessary when you get to week one, if McKinley's not there, um, I want to see how they do. And then on the interior of the defensive line, there's a lot of guys fighting for that, you know, third, fourth, fifth spot on the roster. 